Uh, so one of the things we do is we'll only work our bison herd once a year. The rest, 360 days of the year, they're out grazing. And even, you know, more days than that for the portion of the herd that doesn't have to be being worked that day. So it takes us three or four days to work the whole herd. Other than that, they're out grazing. Um, you know, natural environment, doing their own thing, what they like to do and how they like to do it. And, and so they're not under regular or, or at least man induced stress. There might be environmental stresses from the weather and that sort of thing, but, but we're not creating that stress. So, so we're constantly looking at ways that we can minimize or mitigate man induced stress to the animals. And that's one of them. We only work the herd once a year. Um, we, uh, we are very conscientious about how we handle the animals when we are working them. We just over the last couple of years have completely redesigned our handling system and Temple Grandin and, uh, she's been involved or at least some of her ideas have been involved in how we designed our system. Um, open to the ideas of sort of new thought processes when it comes to, to handling animals. And so um, we went through this big remodel and literally cut down the number of people that were required to work the animals, which is a good thing for the animals. The less people that are around, the less stress re converts to them. And also it took us takes us less time to work the herd as well. So shortened up the time, less exposure to people, and then very conscientious about how we, um, uh, what sort of tools we use to move the animals through the system. Very minimal need for prods. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of a last resort thing. And there's a time when it's a good tool, um, but we, basically have trained ourselves away from using cattle prods um, unless absolutely we determine absolutely necessary. Um, all of our equipment is state-of-the-art now. The, the squeeze chute we use, designed specifically for bison, less injury because of that, um, those sorts of things. Are, so when the animals leave our possession, if you will, they get on a truck to go to harvest um, those truckers are also trained in bison handling. And again, uh, you know, using a, a cattle prod is against the rules unless absolutely necessary. The design of the harvest plant where we ship the animals, Temple Grandin helped design that facility so that there's, um, you know, it's more humane, less stress on the animals. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I mean, I, go ahead and yeah. add because I know I'm not covering all the bases. I mean, yeah. this is some of the I things mean, that pop into my head. The the redesign and the remodel of our handling facilities, um, we went through, it was probably about a five-year process of what we wanted to change, what we thought could do better to reduce the stress of the animals, improve the, the flow through the system, um, reduce the stress. I mean, that was the, and we were looking at everything and design and, and how we were holding the animals and we toured ranches. And so there was a lot of time and thought that went into that. Um, was we've used the, the system has been complete for two roundups now. Um, and we've had great success. We feel great success. Um, it's been, um, extremely rewarding um to see it come to fruition but the stress it relieves on us is, is huge um i mean you get to the end of the day now and people are still laughing and joking and you're glad the day's over but you're not run down and and the stress that the people have will you, you infer that onto the animals and then the animals get stressed and then you get stressed and then yeah and so it's just a vicious downward spiral and we've done everything we can we feel like to remove that and so um you know while the animals like i said they don't like being in confinement earlier we have drastically increased the time frame that they're or reduced the time frame that they're in confinement um 
from the time they come off a of feed and actually run through the system might be like an hour and a half. And so the most they're not, uh, the longest an animal is not in the pasture grazing is like three and a half days. And so, and during that three and a half days, they got all the hay they want to eat, water. fresh water, everything. From the time we take them off hay to work them through the system, might be an hour, mm -hmm. hour and a half. And so we've tried to make that as rewarding as we can and to reduce the amount of man input that it takes to move these animals through the system. Um, and yeah, so that's... How about and our, that, our moves, our moves from Yeah, pasture so pasture, pasture. moves um, to make them as stress-free as possible. So I do all the grazing planning, so I'll have the grazes planned out. Depending on the time of the year, six months in advance. Um, and so I know, okay, roundup in November, that's the big one. And so I'll actually start planning things backwards. So I'm constantly moving the animals closer and closer to the corrals and to where when it's time to put them into that first confinement, big confinement pen, it's opening the gate, going out with the feed truck and leading them in. Um, and so that cuts down on our stress a lot. The animals, it's just, you know, just it's another, another day. day. We're just moving along on a daily basis outside. So I don't plan big moves. I mean, I'm not going to be at the north end of the ranch on one week and three days later be clear at the south end of the ranch. It's, it's typically an open the gate move and they find the fresh grass. Because the animals, they're constantly moving and grazing across the pasture. They're not very static. They are always on the move. And so if we go out in the morning and open a gate, we'll go back at lunchtime and the whole herd will be in the new pasture and they had, they received no pressure from us. They didn't even know we were out there. And so, um, yeah, that makes it easy on us. They get a little excited when they're going through the gate. Yeah. So Ooh, there's fresh an element feet. of stress there, you know, because sort of narrow down and go neck down to go through the gate, but it's not from pressure from us. It's their, you know, it's their decision. And so our pasture moves are basically stress-free. 